What's going on, people? One more thing. I'm doing a um, transmission on this track, which is my previous video, and there's one more advice I want to give it to professional mechanics from non-professional mechanic, not being sarcastic. Um, that's something in my career, trucking in uh, everything else, cheers, coffee. So this, this longer bolts, that's what holds the clutch against the flywheel. The shorter bolts, that's what holds the uh, transmission on a bell housing, whatever you want to call it. And I see quite often, first of all, people uh, don't clean them. They just take them out, put them back in with no Loctite. So this is my Loctite. I use a shit ton, I mean a lot. Uh, I get to the extreme on my own personal truck. Everybody knows the trucks go for a million miles, right? And uh, uh, Fredliner specifically has a shitty doors. And Peterbilt's not the greatest other either. So anytime I buy a truck, I take every bolt, nut, screw, reseal them, insulate them. And every bolt, screw, nut, I put it in with the red Loctite. No, some of you guys are gonna say, well then, good luck to take it apart. No, it comes apart just fine. And I will explain to you a principle of a Loctite, way I understand it, maybe I'm not uh, right. And it's very important to clean the bolts on the flywheel. Like, really, really important. So, right there, it's cleaned out. I usually write my name on it, new transmission, new clutch, the date, whatever. So these bolts, I don't torque them, I just buzz them in with a half inch impact and that's it. But those bolts actually get wire brushed. Crap, it's hard to get out of here. Uh, they get a wire brush, high speed wire brush. So the treads is completely clean and then I break clean the uh, treads in the crank and then I use Loctite. So um, some of you, maybe some of you, uh, where's my other stuff? You have to use this and I see, look. The ideal about NICs, I don't know what's the ideal about NICs, it works really good in some scenarios. Uh, why I'm using Loctite and all this. So I need, so this bolt, when I get it tight, it stays tight. When you put Loctite on this thread and you tie it in, the Loctite works like a glue. So it works like a glue and it works like NICs. So if you have a glue, it's sealed, there's no moisture can get in and it can now rust. When it's time to break it apart, Loctite actually gets really hard and brittle. If you beat on it enough, it will break open and then it just, we come out as the powder. I know we'll come out harder, but we'll come out as a powder. The reason that people use NICs, NICs keeps the moisture out of the tread and then it's easy to take it off because it's, all, it's always kind of staying, um, I wouldn't say greasy. It's like, uh, it will dry it out eventually, but um, it prevents from rusting. But I use Loctite for being bold to stay tight there. And once again, anytime you put Loctite on the tread, I mean, you don't have to dip the whole thing. You just put a depth so it kind of spills all over it and it works like a glue. So if there's a, it's a sealed, sealed tread, it's gonna stay tight and it's not gonna start rusting. That's my principle of understanding. And I see quite often people just not using that stuff and then you're creating problems, especially on the transmissions. Um, anywhere is a micro vibration. Obviously, I don't use this Loctite on the engine. It's usually NICs or whatever because it's metal to matter. It gets hot, cold, hot, cold. But this scenario, uh, anything on a drive line, on a transmission, I use Loctite. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.